So what I do now is actually find this CU09 DK version and start to merge and update and patch and fix and whatsoever and make a very nice smooth uh, presentable overview for us as well. Uh, you can actually also do that that you leave the screen and you will get an email automatically notification telling you that now the work has been completed. So now it tells me that yeah you had 35 uh, custom objects that was conflicting with that CU update to 9 and we have been able to bring you all the way except from three objects. So three objects were so complicated that uh, we couldn't make a decision then need that person to make a decision uh, before we can proceed. So it tells you all this and they say you have a 98.5 roughly uh, completion of the merge. You have paid the 100 coins and the total charge in this case will be 516 coins. Um, and you can see here now the three objects. You can use that for a proposal for your clients. Say if you want to upgrade you, this will be the cost and you can roughly estimate how much you want to charge for the manual three objects you have to merge as well. If you want to click here to see them, we don't show that yet because maybe you don't want it, maybe the client don't confirm this quote or whatever. Um, but if they confirm and you want to go ahead, you can unlock and you can pay the balance 416 coins and say, yeah, it's good, I want to go. And it's just in one second, all is ready. And you can see all the auto completed objects, for example, yeah, we'll show you that. So you can see what objects we have updated. Uh, for example, it could be this table, for example. It was already on a CU5, it has been moved to CU7. Uh, this object in the top here, the TL entries was a zero, 0, and it's to zero, 07. If you want to show it, you can look at that, you can do compare, you can download each individual object if you want to do that for some reason. More interesting, the three conflicting objects you want to have a look at that. So it's very, very nice. It's listed to them here and then put a big surprise. It's a table 36 and code unit 80 and 90. Um, yeah. And I can also see here I'm coming from a 6 to a 9, 6 to 9 and 6 to 8. I can do a compare if I want to do that. Or I can start if I want to, don't want to do the work myself. I can start to look up the list here and assign users. So for example, if I want to assign myself, I can do that and what happened now is I will get an email basically it looks like that it says you have now received a task from Opic Analyzer you've been requested to do this work blah 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 on table 36 and it's requested by Jesper to do that work if there was a deadline it will also be stated so the person who needs to do the work what will he have to do well he will have to find co 6 co 6 co 6 of those objects and then the target one and he needs to do the merge job uh, in some tool. We have provided a very, very nice way for you to get started here. You just click download. When you do that, after a few seconds, we would have found both a standard CO6, your custom CO6, and your standard CO9 on the exact correct local version. So it will now show me here. Wow, I have my custom, my standard and my target on exactly that object. So now you can use whatever tool you want to use. It could be Beyond Compare, Win Merge or whatever you want to use, uh, which are available out there to do your merging. And when that is done, you go back, you select your upload, get this one. So I will say table 36, good. And it will now read the file and make sure I've selected the right one. I could have given it a wrong name. So it reads actually the content of the file and say, are you sure? Yes. So when it's done and it says solved out here, you now see in the top uh, out of the three tasks, two tasks are left and 33% has been completed. For each one of them, I also have another option here. Uh, if I've been assigned, I can uh, both say it's in progress. If I want to inform the manager about that, I can also say I want to use target if whatever customization I had basically read to be say, skipped or voided or what Microsoft did was better, I can do that. Uh, or if whatever Microsoft did was unfortunately worse or I don't want it, I can also select drop here. When all has been done, it now will reflect as 100% completed. And what I can do now is I can now 
you can see that below here i can download all my objects and deploy them straight away to my test installation do my verification testing ask clients to test and then be ready to deploy if i'm handling a lot of merge job and tasks we also provide a task manager and you will see that here in the front. So you can see you have ongoing merge jobs here, you have merge tasks, so you can see what are the tasks I've been assigned to do, and the status, and I click on them, and you see deadline if they've been specified, so I know when I need to take action. If you haven't done a task also before, like the day before, you will get a warning as well.